Ferguson's Furniture next to the Walmart in Benton. North Little Rock, who lost both an arm and a leg in 2011, continues the battle today, but now with a little help from technology. After seven years, he's getting a new arm that his mom says will allow him to be a normal teen. Character for it, Isabella Moeller was at the appointment today. And she has more on this story. Isabella, an incredible story. Yeah, exactly. Bob and Ashley, this 13-year-old does it all. He plays basketball, he runs, he even does the dishes, all with one arm and a prosthetic leg. And today, he and his mom walked into Children's Hospital with a little smile on their faces. LaDonna Johnson and her son, Gabriel, have had thousands of appointments at Arkansas Children's Hospital. But this time is different. Working those muscles. I'm nervous for him and excited for him all at the same time. Chin switch up there for the elbow. He's excited. Like yesterday he was excited. I don't think he went to sleep last night. I really don't. 13-year-old Gabriel is being fitted for a new myoelectric arm. Which allows Gabe to use the electric signals from his muscles to move it. It's, it's amazing. The technology, the ability they have to make all this stuff. So now you've got two hands. Gabe has been without an arm since he was seven years old when he was admitted to ACH with flu-like symptoms. Maybe a week after we got here, that's when they, I guess they figured out that he had Neisseria meningitis. A strain of meningitis that oftentimes is fatal. He lost his right side. His, um, above the elbow of his right arm was amputated and below the knee, right leg. LaDonna says he also lost the heel in his foot along with fingertips in his left hand. He just came in about a month ago, two months ago for a new leg. Has not stopped him, not one bit. You grab something, okay, open a hand, okay, now grab it, just close the hand on it and stop. Now if I try to pull away, the hand will grip down tighter. Now, with the help of Chief Orthotist Gregory Armstrong and many others at ACH, and that frees up the elbow. He leaves this appointment with a new grasp on life. Now, his nurses from the school were there with him at the appointment. This is the first myoelectric arm Arkansas Children's Hospital has ever done. Back to you guys. Unbelievable and very deserving. Thanks very much, Isabella.